Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Russell Tesla Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the bell. That way you get notified when all of our videos are released. Today's video we're going to show you just a little bit of what's going on on an average day, an average summer hot day at the Rabbitry. So we have some rose bushes that we have planted and this rose bush is a zone 3 rose bush the hope for humanity rose bush so they have a very spicy scent and the reason we're showing you the roses is because we would like to show you ever so often our bunnies get roses rose petals along with other flower petals as treats so Arthur's laying down in front of his fan and he had some of his rose petals. He ate quite a few. And so hello Arthur. Arthur has a little bit going on there in his pen. He has some pine cones, a little food dish upturned, and some pumpkin, some pumpkin leaves that were fed earlier. So these are the babies, Arthur and Mariah Carey's babies. They're growing. I believe this little one in front of us is a buck. And that little buck is enjoying the rose petals. So this little one in front of us, I believe, is a doe. And she's enjoying the roses as well. So here's another little doe. She is not eating any roses. She's simply um, eating rabbit pellets. This little one is investigating. This little one is tired, sleepy, hot. So it's nice and cool underneath the rabbitry. Our rabbitry is on the north side of our barn. And some interesting things. We did a video about keeping your rabbits cool. And I'll show some other parts of parts of the rabbitry. So this is to the west. You can see we have some quite tall pine trees and then some more tall trees right over here. So this creates quite a bit of shade. You can see the shade on the ground and it doesn't quite reach the rabbitry. But we have this other apple tree right here, right in front of the rabbitry. Just hangs over a little bit but there's quite a bit of shade that you can see it produces as well. And so our rabbits, they get nice little treats, they get shade. And in discussing cooling off our rabbits, we have some other options as well. Right, Carrie got her trim. So this is the roof. And I can still place my hand on the roof. And when I feel the roof, what I'm feeling for is how hot is the roof? Because if our roof of the rabbitry is getting quite hot, I'm feeling in as well, that's something we can cool down. And we cool that down by using a sprinkler. A sprinkler and just cold water. So we'll take a look. Just going for a walk. A lot of clover in our yard that you can see that's all the little white plants right here. In the wagon up front we have pumpkin plants growing and they're being just showered with water right now. Just a simple sprinkler like this with multiple different settings. This is enough to blow cool water onto the parts of the roof that are hot over the rabbits to just cool the roof off and what that does is it cools the, uh, the, rabbit, the rabbitry down even more. So usually at this part of the day it's later afternoon and there's a, there's a nice breeze going on. We like that. But throughout the day we could just kind of check on things and check on the rabbits. 
help keeping them cool. So when you look over here against this wall, what we've started doing is collecting and drying all the different dried plants. So we have pumpkin right here. We have comfrey that's dried right there. We have lots of different grasses that are dried. Inside the rabbit tree, we have more dried grass that has to be hung up. It's quite, it's quite long. This is actually almost as tall as I am, so a little over five and a half feet. And on the floor of the rabbit tree, you might notice there's a bit of sand here. There's a little bit of stirred up dirt. So in this rabbit tree, when we look at this, the floor slopes down toward the barn. And what that does is it causes a bit of water build up in the springtime over here towards the barn. We don't want, we don't want anything sloping down towards the barn. So what we can do is as, we're, as we do different projects around the yard, we simply put the fill in here, into the actual rabbitry setup. So let's take a little look here at a different angle. So, if we walk into the rabbit tree, and you can see the difference in height. This is lower, this is higher, that's higher way over here this is quite a bit higher but what you're looking at is this just needs to be built up a bit more in the rabbit tree and that keeps it nice and level and that keeps it nice and straight we don't want water accumulating in the rabbit tree so right now we, we still have some empty pens here we have quite a bit of pine cones in this one and since there's no bunnies in this one, I may or may not clean out the, the pine cones right away. Um, they've been nibbled on. Arthur was in Arthur was in this pen for a while. It has a little bit of fur. This just needs to be cleaned up. So this is one of the four foot pens. It has a little toy that you can put food in and treats for him to get out. It always has the box for them to sit in. They kind of flip it over and they do. <laughs> whatever they want with these sometimes. But those are necessary for a lot of different reasons. We always want a place in the pens for our rabbits to have some place they can go. So we can have hay and grasses down here. They have their hut that they can go in. This is also another empty pen. There's quite a bit of little pine cones in here too to clean out. and. You've probably heard me say this before, but empty pens in a rabbit tree, when you're breeding rabbits, that's a, that's a good thing. It's a good thing to have more pens, to have more space than you have rabbits, especially when you're breeding. So then of course we have Mariah Carey's pen. It's afternoon, everyone's warm. You notice we put two water bottles on Mariah Carey's pen because she has the babies. Always want to make sure they have fresh water. We still have our grow out pens that are empty, so two by two foot pens. They too have the box in back. They too have the two and a half pound feeders. We have the workstation right here, which is pretty loaded up. The travel pen's still on top. We still have an exercise pen here and another two by two foot pen. So during the summer, there's there's quite a bit that goes on at the rabbit tree. Some of it's preparing for winter time, because obviously if you have access to the pumpkin, the comfrey, the grass, and you can dry it and you can harvest it, you're really giving, and if it's you know natural, chemical free, everything that we've covered in the other videos, you're really giving your rabbits great food in the winter time and access to great food in the winter time and a variety of different things. And that in the winter time, when there's lots of snow, when it's cold, there's lots of things, for example, fresh rose petals, that's not something that we have access to unless we go to a store and buy them, but there's no guarantee how the roses were um, grown or if they were grown organically or anything like that. So the, the rabbitry in the summertime, is, there's quite a bit Quite a bit that we do, quite a bit going on, quite a bit of preparation for winter. I'm gonna travel over here, continue our tour. 
so we're by the garden and we have watered it this morning a lot of bean plants this area used to have radishes this area used to have radishes right now as i cut the rhubarb the leaves get composted just right here and we switched a couple of chive plants we had some extra chive plants so switched them there bean leaves we are going to have a lot of bean leaves and bean plants we're going to dry those this winter we'll or this fall once the beans are all done so we'll we'll do a video on that and hopefully you guys can watch the video and learn how we actually save the bean plants for winter because again that's more variety um, the, these are this is our sunflower plant that's doing very well you can look at the top and see it's getting ready to bloom this is a very nice tall sunflower we feed the sunflower leaves. If we had more plants, one of the things I wish that was different when you're, when you're watching this video, I wish we had a bigger garden. I wish we grew more sunflowers because these are really excellent for uh, wintertime for when the stalk is dried. They can chew on this. They can also chew on the leaves and it, sunflowers just produce a great amount of food for a rabbit. They can chew the petals. They can chew the seeds, all sorts of different things. So when we kind of wander around, you'll notice we have, of course, carrots growing in the garden. So they're a little sparse in spots, but the rabbits will be able to eat the carrot tops once we harvest the, the carrots themselves. So again, that's just more food we're growing in the garden that both we and our bunnies can eat. We have some kohlrabi kind of hanging out on the side, a little bit of a little bit of composted eggshells over here. Everything goes back into the garden that we can. This is a weed right here. This is not a kohlrabi. If we want, we can feed that weed to the rabbits. Whenever we're weeding the garden, that's just more food. We keep it in a little bucket and we can give it to them, give them the weeds and they'll eat it. So the pumpkins are doing quite well. Hopefully you guys have we're able to see the video of how we actually harvest these leaves. You can see quite a bit of cuttings. And then of course in there, you can see some pumpkins starting to grow. So let's point one out. That's a pumpkin. I've not grown these before. They're the Cherokee um, bush pumpkins, but they're, they're quite tall, but they're quite contained. So when we walk over, we have more pumpkin leaves. These were just harvested this morning. And these are drying. These are just on the kids' sandbox cover, just a simple place to put them. The pumpkin leaves, as you can tell, something we do when this leaf is, this leaf is quite, quite dry. And some of the bigger ones, they take longer. We, of course, have more pumpkin leaves drying on the deck. Just lots of different food. This isn't drying things for rabbits as long as you have access to it. And the, the food, the items in the right conditions, it's not time consuming to do this. You just cut it, let it dry, and then put it away, hang it up, and forget about it until winter time. And your rabbits really appreciate the variety. So those are just some of the projects we have going around at the rabbitry. Some of the things we do to keep the rabbits cool. Some of the things we're doing in the summertime to keep up with feeding the rabbits in the winter. So thanks for watching.